In the county in Reco, currently there is a problem with uh, larcenies from tool sheds all throughout the county. We've had several larcenies from tool sheds. Most of them happen during the day. Um, and the problem with the tool shed larcenies is most of them are unlocked. People aren't home during the day. Um, guys come by, they look for unlocked or unsecured tool sheds. They kind of take what they can get and they drive on down to the next one. And this is happening you know, all throughout the county, summer, spring, winter. Um, it's, it's definitely been an issue in the county. You always want to think about the worst case scenario. You want to try to keep everything locked and secured. Even if people are at home working in the yard, they'll leave their shed, they'll go to the front, front of the house and work in the yard for a few hours and they think it's okay to leave it open. Well, people go by all the time and look for those opportunities. Um, most crimes that occur, especially larcenies, are crimes of opportunity. Basically, this would be like a typical shed you'd see anywhere in the, in the uh, residential neighborhoods. Uh, the one good thing about this shed is you have a lock on it, which every shed should have a lock. And it's a simple key lock. You just have to unlock it with a key. And the main thing to look out for for a shed also as long uh, with the lock is the hardware that surrounds the lock. You want to make sure that where the door is attached, all these screws are fastened tightly. Make sure they're secure so they can't easily break off. And you want to make sure the screws go in at least an inch to an inch and a half inch of the doorway so that they can't just be pried off with a pry bar or something easy. Uh, another thing to look out for in the doors are the hinges. Um, you want to make sure the hinges don't have a pin that can be knocked out. Uh, a hinge like this, you could knock it out with a hammer and you could just remove the entire door uh, from the frame of the, uh, the, the structure. So you want to get hinges with end caps on each side so they cannot be taken off. And uh, these bolts right here are good. They'd be hard to get off. It's not a common type of uh, material that someone can use a screwdriver or something to take the hinges off. So these are good. You just want to make sure you have a hinge cap, uh, end cap on the bolts that secure the hinge from the door to the frame of the structure. And if you look inside this shed, this would be a, a typical scene you'd see inside of a normal shed inside the residential neighborhood. You have a lawnmower, some other yard equipment, rakes, shovels, a, a wheelbarrow. And any of this stuff is basically fair game to be taken. Um, a lawnmower, you might have something where you have a serial number on it. All of these other items may or may not have serial numbers. So you want to put your own, uh, we call it owner applied number on those uh, items so that you can identify it if it's stolen and it's recovered later on by the police so you can track it back to the victim. Uh, it's something very important to us because if we don't have a serial number or a owner applied number, we don't know where it belongs and we can't track it back to a crime. And some people keep generators and other high, high dollar items in their sheds and those are going to cost you thousands of dollars to replace. And that's really what the, uh, the criminals are looking for. They're looking for high dollar things that they can turn back over and sell in the street or on, on the internet. So um, it's just something to, to keep in mind. Um, that's why it's always good to secure your property because this, this stuff can add up. It costs you a lot of money to replace.